Hello guys and welcome back to Star Ruler 2 where we're playing as the Terrans added in by the Shores of Infinity mod and uh, we are exploring the galaxy with our little scouts we are trying to develop uh, this uh, tier 2 resource so that we can then in turn develop our capital planet Terra Prime and um, we have now built our first flagship, the Victory and uh, the Victory has a support capacity of uh, 437. So let's start this episode by looking at designing uh, maybe one or two support ships. So let's um, first of all yeah, select, uh, select support ship and um, we'll start off uh, yeah it's going to be a combat ship We'll go with uh, yeah, a crew deck to give us some control. What should we do? We'll go like that. Size, I don't know, 10. Not really sure on the uh, on the sizes yet. An ammo store. Hmm. Mm, don't think we want to leave the fleet for raids. Now then, what should we do on the weapons front? I think that we will want a um, maybe a railgun ship and a uh, sort of a missile bomber. So let's go with the, the missile bomber type ship first of all. And um, yeah, uh, just trying to get things symmetrical, which this isn't. So it needs to come out one there. Okay, so be there. There we go. Symmetry is. Uh, absolutely vital in uh, ship design in order to maintain one's sanity. Um, so we've got missiles. Don't want to look at the armour yet. Support. Um, so a secondary supply storage facility may be placed on particular support ships, increasing the amount of ammunition and general combat materials uh, available to the fleet. Hmm. Right, I, well, I don't think we want to create any additional supplies on. Uh, or do we? Combat supply use 13.3 um, per second. Okay, well. Yeah, maybe we should just have a little bit of supply. Just to. Um, just to sort of uh, help help along with the logistics. So propulsion. Let's have a uh, a rocket engine at the back here, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, make it uh, fairly fairly large section uh, in the hope of making it um, a fairly nippy craft. Weapons. We've dealt with the weapons. I'm just wondering whether we should add. A uh, missile launcher there as well. Maybe three missile launchers. Got the control. Um, no, we don't want it to be an experimental design. Okay, armor then. So we've got. Uh, I think let's just let's just stick with plate armor for the moment. And uh, yeah, produce it like that. Um, what do we go in? Hmm. Yeah, that's not very symmetrical, is it, Benjamin? Let's, let's just let's just let's just move along with our lives and live with it. So uh, yeah, just kind of come like that. So that would presumably wouldn't that block the missiles? You should get a warning if you do that. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. So I can armor some of it, but not both. It's got to have a way out. It would seem. 
we'll leave, we'll leave them like that. There we go. So we'll call that um, missile. Missile call that. And save that. And then let's create another design. And we'll, well, let's go with the control point first of all. I say what, can I? Um, Hmm. I was wondering whether we start with the base one. Hang on. Could I start this one as a. So if we keep all the other stuff the same and go with a uh, rail. So weapons, rail guns. So we'll swap out these missiles and put in rail guns instead. Go and in fact, let's uh, let's fill all that space with uh, rail guns and um, um, oh, I could have is it duplicate I needed to do? What if I click duplicate and I save that? Have I? Yeah, there we go. Oh, are you? Can as a support ship? Yes, you are. Okay, so let's go back to the main menu. And I'm hoping I can now manage my supporters. And uh, yeah, I would like to. Oh, they're quite expensive. So we need. To... Let's um, let's go with five. Okay. Build. Uh, let's go with the five of the missile ships to begin with. And. Um... Let's uh, let's roll the game onwards. He says, uh, doing something weird with the controls. There we go. Well, weird with the graphics. Though, uh, yeah, there we go. Now, I'm second. My mouse wheel wasn't working, so it um, made things all a little bit wonky. But we're okay now. So, yeah, we've got one white scout there. Got the other one there to go and um, explore those debris fields. And uh, we've got the colonizers just arriving at 1 7 to provide us with food that I can then bring to uh, 1 Prime. And that will allow us to get to level 2. We're then going to need a tier 1 resource. Ooh. Did we already pick out a tier one resource? There's an option really. Oh, titanium would give us um, more production or more research. Ooh. Um, oh, yeah, noxious atmosphere reduces the maximum population by one. Well, let's try and get hold of that research. Um, we're really interested in both research and influence, actually. Is there anything that gives us influence? There is a okay, mining base there. Let's bring this food here. So the planet is going to level up now. We've got some water somewhere that we're not actually... Oh yes, we did come and colonize some of the worlds over here. So we could use that water to um, increase uh, the level of a planet. We need, yeah, we need just a tier two research here though. So um, we could, yeah, well, let's, let's level up this world. So we need both um, water and, uh, and food. So, um, we are in the process of colonizing this world to get the food, and there's the colonizers. So let's think about this. We will get the water and food, and so access to the chemicals. We'll be able to bring the chemicals here, and so that will give us a tier one resource, but we still need more food. So let's, um, let's queue up 
getting hold of um, of this fish. Um, which I think maybe we just need. No, I think we can just get it straight off the bat. Let's uh, let's colonize. Now then, on the diplomacy front, do we want to purchase anything? Um, uh, these are already being purchased by um, other factions. Okay, well, research. Did we have anything queued up? I don't think so at the moment. Um, ship, uh, ship repair rates um, decreases the build cost and construction time. Civilian building, stockpiling. All that. What's beyond stockpiling? Uh, oh, sub yeah, health. Uh, maximum support. That could be quite useful. Resupply. Um, well, you'd already got propulsion. What's materials? Increases the health by 10%. Cooling. Increases the fire rate. And um, scanning then. Ooh, let's. Um, beyond that is the ability to unlock 1000 energy. Whereas at the moment, I think we're capped at a, a 500. So let's uh, let's queue that one up and then um, go back to the galaxy. Sorry if you can hear my neighbours, but not their bins. Um, zeitgeist progress. Um, if the boat passes, the most supportive empire will receive plus three research per second base generation. Right. Well, we could do. Oh gosh, somebody else is um, very much trying to grab that. We've got. Um, some of these cards we could play though, so why don't we play in support and uh, try and get this one. So we'll play 8 and uh, then again 10, so let's, um, let's try and be the most supportive. Do we... Oh, somebody else has uh, come in, oh my gosh, what were we... Uh, Another two, okay. Have we got our little support ships? Yeah, you can see now that there are some support ships, um, basically along with the um, along with our flagship there. So we've got some cash in the bank now. So let's grab our flagship and. Um, and, uh, well, I'd like to have 15, we had 15, 300, okay, so, uh, yeah, build me 15 of those, and, um, okay, well, another 5 of the missiles then, and uh, hopefully that will, um, that will progress, uh, oh, yeah, I would like to add some more support to this, with, are we... I don't think we're in the lead right now. Let's um, let's play that in support. We've now got some uh, got some energy, 500 energy. So we've got the option of getting water from a um, from a comet. Uh, we did have this water planet here that we we needed to get food for. So we actually need to queue up the uh, the colonization of another food world. So let's go with this fruit world here, and then we can uh, we can unlock that world and get it leveled up a little bit more. So with the um, with the options we've got a stellar generator. Yeah, we can generate a star spontaneously at the uh, position we choose. We've got terraform planet instantly adds a random food resource to a target owned planet. That could be useful. Comets generate water. Command computer expand the target fleet support capacity by three hundred. Let's let's invest in that now and get the um, get the victory support. Ooh, 
must be in the same territory. Okay, well, where are you? Where is the command computer? Um, hmm. Doesn't tell us where it is. Which is a bit of a shame. And uh, yeah, double clicking on it doesn't doesn't take me to it. Okay, well, we'll just have to wait until we uh, until we find that then. Oh, what? Um, hang on. What uh, did we? How did we do? Aye, and we were we were one of the highest. So sh presumably we've got more more research coming in now. Plus three research per second. But we do need to rebuild our card deck. So uh, okay, well let's um, let's progress the game then. And uh, oh, we scanned the anomaly. Right. So debris field. An old navigational boy drifts through the deserted debris field. Uh, let me just pause the game while I think about things. Uh, just for the debris field, its main power long since run out, but its data banks are still filled with knowledge. Dismantle the boy and download the information contained within its stores. Obtain intelligence about planets in nearby systems. Scrap the boy for parts and sell the technology on the black market. Gain 200k. Well, there's a number of things. First, I think we've already got the intelligence about the planets. Uh, um, but then again, 200k, I mean, we get that every every sort of three minute tick. So I think let's go with the information about the planets, because that, um, that may prove more useful. And um, the other debris field then. Um, you quickly detect a station of intriguing design. Control dozens of controlling dozens of drums, the station systematically serves and collects parts of the debris using processes unknown to refine the material into gel-like chemicals. At one point during your studies, the station launched a capsule containing some of the chemicals into the system at great velocity. The study of the capsule's trajectory revealed its slingshot course around one of the planets and into interstellar space. Okay. So, we can board the station and attempt to identify the nature of the chemicals it contains. Quickly drill a small hole into the hull around one of the chemical stores and siphon it off for study. Or we can destroy the station from a distance before it can respond. Well, let's 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 try and board and, and identify. Okay, your boarding party has successfully infiltrated the station. The station appears to contain an alien kind of atmosphere, consisting of a large amount of reactive elements. Exploring the station's insides, your scientists discover a large amount of uh, distinct chemical stores, but uh, the readings on the majority of them do not suggest any viable use for our species. Ugh. Right, there are options. Readings suggest that a particular chemical stored on the station is extremely beneficial for consumption by our species, uh, inducing a greater lifespan. Um, well, the other one is, one of the chemicals appears to be uh, an extremely potent fertilizer able to greatly increase the food production on one of your planets. Hmm. So we could make a target planet happy, or we could gain a cultivation influence card. Um, oh, what to do, what to do. Let's, uh, let's make uh, Terra Prime happy in order to um, buff its, um, I presume it buffs its, um, you know, doings, uh, happy. All Empire resources already being produced on this planet gain one extra production. Oh, I see. So what, we've now got uh, two lots of food. Oh, we do. We only now need that, uh, no, it's, um, All Empire resources already being produced on the planet gain one extra production. So is that bumping up uh, things like our energy then? Or is it, do we now have two sources of 
for food. Hmm. I don't know, guys, but it's presumably a good thing. We'll work that out together. So we've got the um, got the spare water, but we need food. Yeah, it must be the energy then, because um, if, it, if we had two sources of the fruit, it would have taken out this level four. But it's made the planet more productive in any event. So we could. Yeah, add uh, 750. So let's let the energy build up a bit more. Diplomacy, have we got any sort of... Uh, God, these guys are very influential, aren't they? They're buying up everything. Little swines. What does a gift do? Um, okay, let's leverage. No, we need to, we need to find some influence uh, producing stuff. Right, so we've now got the... Um, the food. So let's bring that to um, one prime. And um, oh no, it was it was it one prime? It was um, these chemicals we needed. Are we leveling up? Some are leveling up, colonizing. So we're going to colonize that. Yeah, I think we actually need to bring the food over here. Oh no, no, we did, we, we did, we did need more food. So we've got the the food sorted out. We need that tier one resource, and then we'll actually need more food again. So, um, yeah, I'm very tempted to use this um, terraforming planet. Instantly adds a random food resource to the target-owned planet. Hmm. Question will be, does it actually destroy what's already there? Anyway, we've got some cash in the bank now, so let's um, grab our uh, flagship and add some support. So let's go... Ideally, with um, yeah, another ten of those, and then another five of these, please. Let's see how we get so long. So uh, yeah, if we zoom in, we can see that we've got uh, got a few ships now. Um, it's uh, yeah, with the. Um, just struggle to kind of zoom in nicely all the time, but um, yeah, anyway, it's not, it's, not, it's not too bad. It's just because the um, it's actually orbiting, you see, so it's um, moving out of my camera view. Ooh, there's one negotiate. Let's, um, yeah, let's grab that one. A little bit expensive, but uh, we need to restart building. We need to start rebuilding, rather, our, um, our influence cards. What's, what's being voted on? A new zeitgeist cooperation. Okay, well, we don't really have the time to get involved in that. We do have some research available now, though, so let's um, let's have a think about where we want to go. Oh, energy experiments? Mm. Yeah, um, oh, we would have to... We actually have to um, spend energy to progress further. Like, I see that's what it is. So we can already get a thousand energy. We just got to spend it to get over to this side. Apparently. All right. Well, let's um, let's have a look at what else. Repair. Increase the ship's repair by twenty percent. Eh. Possibly useful. Um. Sort of more interested right now in um, 
kind of maybe the, the economic side of things. Um, what would kinetics do? Ship weapons, okay, well, this is all kind of the uh, ship stuff rather than um, maximum support. Yeah, we, we could do with bumping that up, I suppose. Yeah, I was hoping for some economic ones. Um, dedicated mining architecture. Hmm. Increases the labour. Oh yes, there we go. That's what we want. Increases the labour generated by the factory buildings by two. So let's uh, let's grab that one. That is a nice economic boost. Make us more productive. Oh, this is this is quite handy. Now that we've got planets within this system, they can actually, um, you know, they can actually send colonists from those planets rather than having to kind of cross this uh, this void here. That is that's quite useful, actually. I like that. Kind of uh, makes more sense to get to you know one world in the system, build that up so that it can go and. Um, Populate the others. Then, yeah, that's uh, that's good. Uh, debris field. You can go there and scan that anomaly. We've got lots of asteroids here as well, which um, we can exploit. Don't need to do it for the moment, but uh, need to bear it in mind. Um, you little scout, are you up to anything? Explosives. Okay. Well, we could be. Perhaps I should be colonizing these worlds in readiness for something more exciting. Um, well, yeah, I can't really see any uh, anomalies over here. Let me just pause the game for a second whilst I'm doing this little sort of, uh, my own little scouting expedition. There, there's a debris field there, so let's grab that uh, light scout and, um, come, and uh, come and scan this anomaly please. Let's, uh, let's move things along. So yeah, we're about to get our um, chemicals, which are that tier one resource, and then we'll need to um, to level it up as swiftly as we can. Which um, yeah, well we've got the water. We could do with we could do with that food. So let's bring the water here. But we do need the food still. Um, yeah. Hmm. The thing with this, because it's terrible, instantly adds a random food source to the target owned planet. But I don't know whether it will. Um, whether it will sort of scrub out, you know, is it adding an additional one? It doesn't say additional, does it? It just says, you know, I, I fear losing the food already there, but I suppose I won't know until I actually try it. So let's, um, uh, oof, no. <laughs> I think it's a bit, bit of a risk. Uh, so we are colonizing that world, uh, yeah, that is going to take us a bit of time. Do we have any other food sources in this system? This is meat, actually. Yeah, we do. So could you come from... Yeah, you're coming from within the system. All right, that won't take too long, actually. Let's get that meat, and then we can um, finish upgrading this world. That will then take the tier one resource here, which will unlock the jewelry, which means we can get... Um, get this world um, producing yeah you get the money money shipped over then to Terra Prime I'm wondering whilst we're just looking at this to build a moon base there but I'll tell you what actually what we need to do is continue building up our mm -hmm. fleet how is the fleet um, doing oh we can't actually build um, any more so yeah one missile corvette there and we'll go with one rail, and maybe that's us actually. And um, 
Yeah. So the remnant fleet here is 5.1k health. What is our fleet? 5.3. Ooh, so pretty, pretty close. Hmm. It would be really useful to know where that command computer was in order to get the um, in order to get that bonus. Uh, but where are you? Hmm. I really don't know. What is that little scout doing? Did you explore this debris field? Ah, it has now. So you encounter a strange station, uh, periodically emitting tachyon pulses um, at a nearby uh, spatial anomaly. The station's power systems appear functional, but the emitter focusing mechanism is damaged. If we repair the emitter, we may be able to widen the spatial anomaly enough to pass through it. Oh, right. Um, to open a permanent rift to an unknown point in the galaxy. Oh, I don't, I don't like the idea of that. Hmm. No. Goodbye. That would uh, create a wormhole to somebody. I'm not, not a big fan of wormholes. <laughs> Who knows what's going to come through them. Um, let's just uh, pause this little chap. Are there any other anomalies? Well, there's a wormhole there. <laughs> so I haven't been able to eradicate um, the... Uh, the risk of wormholeage. In any event, uh, we do need to get on and exploit these worlds. Uh, anything down here? No, what's here? There's an asteroid there, construction materials. Oh, there is another anom anomaly there, so let's go and scan that anomaly. Oh, there's loads of water there. So we're um, yeah we're going to colonize this and um, let's uh, uh, is our fleet built up five point three got all the support ships yes right so I think we can now use our uh, FTL to jump um, jump to this system ooh. It needs 513. Gosh, okay. Well, we can, we can jump to the outskirts of the system then. So let's... Um, let's jump. And uh, it'd be really, really useful if I unpaused the game. There we go. There we can see the, uh, the sort of the, the field effect, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it will, the fleet will jump shortly. He says. Well, I want. I've spent. I've spent my. Uh... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hopefully, the fleet is moving. It hasn't just exploded. Now, oh, there we go. It's moving faster than light now. Um, <laughs> that was quite the delay. I was a bit worried then that we'd. Uh... We've made some sort of terrible error, like you know, exploded our fleet. Let's invest in that moon base whilst we've got some. Uh, whilst we've got some spare cash. Also, on the influence side, do we have any cards? Oh, we could purchase. Yeah, let's purchase that one. Uh, name flagship. Oh, we've already got. Oh, what does the name flagship do? 10% effectiveness. Um, well, maybe we should do that. Well, I'm gonna call it the, um, the victory. Um, victory one. Activate that, and we need to. Um, well, let's just wait for it to uh, arrive. There we go. So I can spend that influence. So now the victory one is more effective, and uh, let's let's move over here to get into um, get into combat. What are they all voting on? Progress. Okay. 
and um, once again we've got some research queued up. It is all go in this game. Uh, factory building material science increases all ship subsystem health by 10%. Well that could be useful as we're about to go into a battle. But wasn't there one about missiles? Explosive weapons such as torpedoes. But you'd think that missiles would be a um, an explosive weapon, wouldn't you? Hmm. Stockpiling construction. Let's let's go with um, what's beyond there. Oh, increases labor generation. Dedicated mining architecture. Unlocks the miner hull system for use on flagships. Okay. Designed for extraction of ore from asteroids. What would be over here? Material uh, subsystem health. Okay. Well. Uh, more subsystem health. Maximum support. Well, we've already got the number of ships that we can. Uh, material science. Oh, that would boost propulsion and fire rate. Oh, maybe this one actually increases the fire rate of all weapons. Let's grab that and um, move things along. So uh, yeah, our fleet is uh, is moving. It's taking a bit of time, so you can see why um, it was nice to be able to use the FTL on the on the flagship to boost things uh, along there. Going to take a little while to get uh, into combat. So I'll tell you what, guys, we're almost at uh, 40 minutes now. So I'll bring this episode to an end, and in the next one we'll kick things off by trying to get hold of this um, this mining base and um, yeah, continuing to uh, progress our, our planet development. And um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks very much.